everyone today i'm gonna be showing you how to make this cube spiral transforming thing it is not origami because it includes glue but it can spiral out like this Boop. like that and then if and then you can stand it up like this and just press on the top and watch it go down you can open up these two ends and then just squish it kind of like a slinky but yeah you can only open up the middle and the sides i guess Boop. Boop. but yeah this is a pretty easy model i made mine out of sticky notes this kind and so you'll need any kind of paper as long as it's square i prefer to use sticky notes because it's a good size so then it's really easy to carry anywhere and fun to play with too and i have a lot of sticky notes in my house so you also might want to have an extra sticky note that way you don't get glue all over your surface but i'll take one piece fold it diagonally Unfold it, turn 90 degrees, and repeat. Unfold again, and fold these two edges to the middle, like that. I'm going too fast, just pause the video. Alright, and then from there, Fold it, fold the edges to the middle, both sides, like that. Now, take this, I had a lot of trouble with this, these next few steps, so be patient and don't worry if you get it wrong, if you don't get it right the first time. So fold it to right there, like that. This. And then you want to fold it like this, I think. Yeah, like that. And then fold it here, so then the edge right here goes, so then this triangle thing goes over this edge. And from there, fold like that there if you want to check if you're correct make sure that your thing is pointing well if it's facing you like this then you want to make sure it's pointing this way but yeah. and then make a second one hold on ta-da it's magic Anyways, from here, take one of them and just unfold the flaps like that. So then you, and then turn it like this. From there, take this one, turn it on its side and just put it on top like that. Then you want to fold this, take that down. I had a lot of trouble with this, so don't give up. Fold this back down and then put it back. Flip it over, and do pretty much the same thing. Okay. Hold on, I'm not used to doing this backwards. Alright. So take it down, and put it in like that there. And then just try and align it the best you can. If these triangle things here don't align up, that's fine. Completely normal. And then from here, just take the triangle thingies and fold them like that. Flip it over. Fold it up like that. And then take this, put it on top, and get your glue stick and put some glue on it like that. Do this with all of these little triangle thingies. Flip 
flint and do the same on this side. Like that. There. Now you're done. My glue dries pr pretty fast, but you probably shouldn't use your your little square thing as soon as you've made it because sometimes it will actually tear out the triangle thingies. Anyways. Yeah. Ooh. There's another one. So now that you have two, or should have, I have two. If you don't, that's fine. <laughs> Mine's missing some walls. I do not know how I did that. Yikes. Alright, hold on. Alright. So, I fixed it. See? It has all the size now. This does too. Alright, so now, can you see the two triangles? See them? Alright. Can you see them here? Okay. So, make sure that they're facing the same way, like this. And then put glue on one of them. And then make sure that they're facing the same way for sure. And then stick it on. That's how you make it. Yeah. That's it. And then you just... Oops. You should probably let the glue dry. That's for sure. Right. But yeah, there, that's it. If you want an extra long one, keep repeating the process until you have, I don't know how many, but it is two sticky notes per thingy. But, yeah, that's it. Pretty cool though. Bye, see you next time.